hello guys welcome to my channel and this is the third part of undo redo operation and this in this video we will be editing uh, the code logic in uh, main form itself and in this video we will be able to see a demo of undo and redo operation and all the code required for you is given in the description and download it and set it up so let's get started with undo and redo in main form first thing we need to do here is to edit the update view method let's get down to this control f12 yeah add uh, the enabling code here so we need to enable and disable uh, this undo operation as needed so enable here and uh, we will be using uh, edit operation and uh, we have a uh, previous uh, previously written uh, can undo method in uh, edit operation class so we can just call it here if it returns true we, we need to enable this option uh, or else it is to be done as false here uh, we haven't uh, added a new option let's add it redo and uh, let's have a shortcut for this for a shortcut we can have control and uh, shift finally uh, select the letter reset so let's rename this redo edit menu so let's return back to code redo dot menu dot enabled we have written uh, the same logic for a redo operation as well so call the method and it will return a boolean uh, that will influence uh, the enable status of redo that's it the code within this update view is complete now it will be just like uh, when enable can be done when uh, redo can be done it, it will be enabled redo will be enabled and uh, undo will be enabled as well uh, when undo can be done so let's disable this both this option at first when uh, the application is launched we need to disable uh, like we did with uh, cut copy and paste here make it as false and also here make it as false Now to support undo and redo operation, I am going to use a timer. So what I am going to do is have a timer here and instantiate the same here. Why I am using timer is, let's say I am going to save something in time t1. Let's say at time t1, the content in uh, text area is my name and at time t2 which is greater than t1 the content is my name is sara yeah so the timer will be executing at a regular interval and at regular interval i will be saving the values in the text area as stacks so when I am going to save something, it will be stored in undo stack. And let's say at time t1, undo stack will have this as only one element and at t time t2, it will have this content. And when the user clicks undo, the this content will be popped out and only this content will be in the text area so it's a simple logic and to redo operation can be more complex and we have complicated algorithm for this but for the sake of this tutorial I am going to stick with this simple logic itself so let's do this I will be uh, needing a method private void my uh, timer tick object center and uh, event arcs e so we need to have a method that will be called uh, at regular intervals 
so tick is the event handler so we need to assign this method we have created to this tick actually we need to have a plus so that uh, the event handler is assigned whenever the timer uh, tick uh, uh, i mean uh, the timer will be uh, calling this function as at a regular interval so let's have it as 500 milliseconds in the timer tick method we need to do some simple task that is stop the timer here which means we need to start it somewhere after uh, stopping the timer we need to add what's there in uh, text area to this add and to redo state method so we will be adding uh, text area dot uh, text like i said at one time instant we will be saving this and another time instant we will be saving this and whenever this undo is clicked it will uh, go from uh, this state to this and whenever redo is clicked in this case it will go from this to this this is how a typical undo redo operation works here and uh, we have started this and uh, let's call uh, update view here and we need to make changes in uh, text change event of text area here this is where that uh, boolean variable comes into play so let's call edit operation and uh, then uh, text area change required here we need to start the timer and when we start the timer uh, it will uh, call this tick function uh, in a regular interval and uh, save and uh, in time to time so whenever we are changing the text here timer will be started and it will uh, save something to the undo stack in a regular interval and we can undo and redo as much as we can we want to and in this else condition we can uh, set this as false so this is simple so initially we need to set this as true here in order for this to work and we have changed this and i think it should work for now let's complete this off by writing code for this undo so text area dot text is equal to edit operation dot undo clicked so whatever needs to happen will happen now and we need to update the view as well and finally for redo operation we need to do the same yeah this is complete now and we need not worry about uh, whether undo operation is possible or not as we are uh, un enabling and disabling this both options whenever uh, possible so whenever something is there to undo and only then this option will be enabled that we made sure of that in uh, update view here actually this update view has enabling and disabling option and the user may not be able to call this with whenever uh, there is nothing to undo or redo so that part got it covered so let's see the demo so let's start this application my name is sara just click dot and let's undo this so it's enabled undo is enabled and redo is not enabled here and so we have something to undo here and nothing to redo and when i clicked undo this dot went off and when i clicked it again sara went off and i clicked it again this part went off so now when i have uh, something undone i have something to redo here and i can uh, click it and we see this name is become complete and then we can click it we see this name came and when i redo click so i got this dot here so we have implemented the undo and redo operation successfully and this is how a typical undo and redo works 
it will have a uh, better implementation techniques than this but for uh, the sake of tutorial it's okay thank you guys for watching this video i think you like it if you like it uh, click the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel so that you could uh, watch my future videos as well thank you